Alright, this video I'm going to go ahead and uh, graph an integral accumulation function, create a point that is conditional, so I'm going to create some conditions under which only a point is going to show up, and then make use of something called an OR condition and an AND condition. So for part C, I had to find the uh, intervals on which it's concave down. I kind of already uh, thought about this and answered it. G is going to be concave down whenever uh, G prime is decreasing, and I've already made the connection that G prime is F for this uh, fundamental theorem of calculus. So really I just want to highlight whenever F, this graph, is, uh, is decreasing. So let me go ahead and turn this off over here. Control F. Now what I want to do is just highlight whenever this is decreasing, so between 1 and, uh, and 4. So I want to put a point on the graph. Now the X value is going to be dynamic, it's going to be my slider, so X value. This is labeled as f, so it's going to be f of the x value. So the exact same way that you put um, a car on your track for the roller coaster, you put a point on this uh, graph. Go ahead and hit enter, and there's your uh, your point. So now, anytime I move this, it moves the uh, the point as well. Now I go ahead and uh, right-click on the object properties. I don't want to show the label, so I turn this off. Change the color and change the line style. Now, the condition if you hit advance, I only want it to show between the values of 1 and 4. So I, the condition I want it to show is x has to be, be the x value, my slider, has to be between, uh, between 1 and 4. And then go ahead and hit enter. So now it only shows up between uh, 1 and 4. As soon as you're outside of that, it uh, disappears. Now for it to highlight it, I go ahead and uh, right click and I want it to trace it. So now anytime uh, this moves, it highlights that. And I want to create a, a box that explains what's happening. So I want this to be that G is concave down when g prime is decreasing. Alright, go ahead and hit OK. Change the size of it. Change the color of it as well. And again, I only want this to show up when uh, it's happening, so it's going to be the same thing whenever the x value is between 1 and 4. So now it'll only show up when it's actually decreasing. Alright. So let me hit Control F to erase all the traces. Now, I was using a Part B. I was using the trace of this. I'm going to create a new show hide box. Let's call this Part uh, C. And I'm not going to select anything just yet. I'm going to go ahead and hit Apply. Now this is labeled as uh, a Boolean value. So basically, when this uh, turns on and off, it's just either going to be true or false. So what I want to do is link up this point. I want to link up my text value, this one. And I want to link up this point to this text box. So I go ahead and hit Object Properties. I want it to show whenever it's in between 1 and 4. This is the end button. So I want it to show between 1 and 4 and whenever C is selected. So I hit C, I go and hit enter. So now it's shown between 1 and 4 and when C is selected, as soon as I deselect C, it's no longer there even though it's between 1 and 4 because C is no longer selected, it, uh, it hides it. But if I want to show it, go ahead and hit C and there it is. Now I want to do the exact same thing for my answer over here. I want to link it to C. So the condition is also AND C. So now if it's deselected, it hides it. And the last thing I want to do is create an OR because I want it to show, I want this to show if B or C are selected. So go to Object Properties and it's whenever B and then the one next to AND is or 
So whenever B or C are selected. So what that means is that if I select B, there's the point. Control F clears it. Now if I select C, there's the point. So now I can have B or C um, selected and it'll trace the, uh, the graph of G. And uh, that's it for this.